Here's the thing, there's no doubt that Americans love their SUVs, but there was a time where Americans loved station wagons. Americans would buy station wagons for the same reasons that they now buy SUVs, comfort, space, and utility. Unfortunately, SUVs eventually won the battle and we're not obsessed with them, but let's forget about SUVs for a second. Let's obsess with station wagons for a few minutes. My name is Omar and today I'm test driving the 2021 Audi RS6 Avant. Whenever automotive enthusiasts talk about Audi, the conversation usually shifts to the fact that we don't get the high performance RS models here in the United States like the RS6. But that's not entirely true. The US market did get the RS6 sedan for one model year in 2003, and it was really fast. It pumped out 450 horsepower from a twin turbo V8, and it really had some ball. And things are starting to change. While we still don't get the RS4 here in the United States, we do get the RS3, the RS5, the RS7, the RSQ8, and the RS6 is finally back. But this time, the RS6 is only available as a wagon. That said, let me give you a tour of the 2021 Audi RS6 Avant, and then I'll give you my opinion on what I think about it. But before I do, make sure you hit that subscribe button, make sure you hit like. All right, let's do this. Now, before we even get into all the cool and interesting things about the RS6 Avant, let's kick it off with a quick launch control. So to launch the RS6, you can go through all the settings or you can just enter RS mode, just like the M modes on BMWs, Audi has an RS mode button on the steering wheel and you can pick between RS1 and RS2. And then from there, you can customize each RS mode. RS mode one for me is everything sporty except the suspension that's in comfortable and Quattro with sport differential is in balanced. And then RS mode two for me is everything maxed out. Everything is in sport mode and the ESC is also in sport mode. And that's what you need to have it in to launch control the RS6. So let's do it. Now, if you're one of the few people that will track your RS6 Avant, you can check out the Rensport monitor right here and go through some data, including your temperature, your G meter, and your tire pressure monitoring, which you can only check at speeds of above 16 miles an hour, but this is pretty useful. For those of you that didn't know, RS stands for the German words Rensport, which literally translates to racing sport in English. You learn something new every day. Now, we've definitely seen Audi's virtual cockpit display in my other Audi reviews, and if you know about Audi, you definitely know the virtual cockpit display, but in RS models, you have three themes that you can pick from, including RS Sport, RS Performance, and RS Runway. I have to say that RS Runway is definitely my favorite view. It looks really cool. Actually, it looks like an airport runway. That is very dope. Moving on from all the performance bits, let's check out some other cool things. Audi's lighting game is definitely one of the best in the luxury segment, and on the RS6, the lights do a pretty cool animation. Let's check those out. When you walk up to the RS6 and hit unlock, the lights will welcome you with a cool little dance right there. That is a very cool animation. Same thing happens with the tail lamps. When you walk up and hit unlock, they will also do a cool little dance. Audi's lighting game is definitely the best in the industry. By the way, interesting note here, when you pop open the hood, you'll see a little warning that says laser radiation. Do not stare into beam class two laser product, I guess because these lights will straight up blind you if you look directly into them. That's nuts. Moving on from the lighting game, well, kind of. We all know that Audi has one of the best camera games in the industry. Their image mapping for the 3D view is simply mind blowing, but I did notice something a little interesting this time. If you look closely, you'll notice that the 3D image will also show you the lights that are in operation. So let me turn on the lights and there you go. You'll see the lights come on in the back. If you hit the brakes, you'll see the brake light. If you hit the indicator, you'll see the indicator and you'll also see the indicator from the front. That is very, very cool. So how much does the new RS6 Avant cost? Pricing starts at $109,000. As tested here though, you're looking at $119,840. Of course, at that price tag, almost everything that you see here is standard, so you won't be left wanting more from your RS6. As standard, you get the Audi MMI infotainment system with two screens, and you also get wireless Apple CarPlay and wireless Android Auto. If you want a deeper dive into this infotainment system, make sure you check out my Audi Q7 review. I've linked it in the description below, or you can check it out with the link popping up in the right-hand corner. Now, moving forward with what you get as standard, you get the really cool virtual cockpit display as standard. You won't have to pay extra for heated or cooled front seats. You also get a heated steering wheel to keep your hands really warm, and you also get a four-zone climate control, which is awesome. 
And if you enjoy a really good sound system, the RS6 Avant comes standard with a Bang & Olufsen 3D sound system, and it sounds amazing. And to wrap it up, you also get this beautiful panoramic sunroof that lets a lot of natural light into this cabin, and it looks absolutely beautiful. Let's talk horsepower and torque. Power comes from a 4-liter twin-turbo V8 making 591 horsepower and 590 pound-feet of torque, and that's mated to an 8-speed automatic transmission. And that will allow you to go from 0 to 60 in just 3.5 seconds with a top speed of 155 miles an hour. If you want to increase that top speed, you can with an additional package, and that will increase it to 190 miles an hour. Fuel economy-wise, the RS6 Avant will get 15 city and 22 highway, given 19.3 gallon tank capacity. I'm averaging after 23 hours a total of... 16.7 miles a gallon. Moving on, let's take a look at the exterior design of the Audi RS6 Avant because for a station wagon, this thing looks absolutely boss. Now, while I've been testing this car, a lot of people have been asking me why they don't offer the RS6 as a sedan. It would be nice, but the main reason is because Audi already has the RS7, which carries the same engine with the same performance figures. Now, the RS6 Avant starts at $109,000, and if there was an RS6 sedan, that would have to be a couple of thousand dollars cheaper so basically, if there was an RS6 sedan, it would jeopardize the sales of the RS7, which starts at around $114,000, since people could get the same performance for less. That said, let's talk about the RS6 Avant here. This is definitely the sexiest station wagon that you can buy right now. I think it looks much more stylish than the Mercedes-AMG E63S wagon. The color that you see here is called Tango Red, and that will cost you an extra $595. My test model also features the black optics package, which gives you black trim basically everywhere that you can see. You get black badges, which actually look really, really cool, and you can also get them as a part of other packages, like the Carbon Optics package. You get black side mirror housings, and you also get these awesome 22-inch 5 V-spoke titanium matte finish wheels, which are probably some of the best-looking wheels that I've seen in quite a while. And as if these wheels couldn't get any cooler, my test model also comes with red brake calipers for an extra $500, and I also have a sport exhaust for an extra $1,000. Before we move on, let's check out the cargo capacity. You can pop the trunk by the button right here under the Audi logo. And behind the second row, you have 30 cubic feet. And then you can fold the second row by pulling these latches right here. Very simple. And that opens it up to about 59 cubic feet, 60 cubic feet. So you have plenty of space. Now let's hop inside the interior of the Audi RS6 Avant. And man, does it smell nice in here. I feel like I'm still one of the few car nuts that appreciates a rich smelling car interior. So overall, it's pretty much just like the Audi A6 and the S6, but a little cooler and a little bit more RS. The first thing you'll probably notice are these awesome Volcona Milano leather seats with the honeycomb stitching and RS embossing. Now, usually the sportier luxury models tend to have some uncomfortable and harder seats, but the seats here on the RS6 Avant are actually very, very comfortable and extremely good looking. As I mentioned earlier, these seats are standard and they are heated and cooled, but my test model gets the executive package as well for an extra $2,500, and that will give you a bunch of leather all over the dash, armrest, the console, so if you like leather everything, then definitely add this package. The executive package will also give you some rear seat comfort with heated rear seats. You'll also get a heads-up display, and you'll also get soft closed doors for everyone that doesn't know how to close their doors. Now, if you want some extra carbon fiber around the interior, you can also add the carbon twill trim for an extra $500. It actually looks really nice and feels really nice. Before we move on, let's hop in the back seat and check out the rear legroom, which is the same exact amount of legroom you'll get in the sedan. You get 37.4 inches. I'm about six foot tall. That's my seating position. As you can see, I still have plenty of room and you also get manual hater shades to block them from seeing you. Pretty cool. By the way, if you want a deeper dive into the MMI infotainment system and the virtual cockpit display, make sure you check out my Audi Q7 review. I go into great detail on how this awesome system works. Link is in the description below. Now, before I give you my opinion on how it is to drive the RS6 Avant, let me point out a few random things that I'll have to show all of you. You got four cup holders, two in the front, and then you have two in the back for the rear passengers. Here are what the keys look like for the Audi RS6 Avant. You got a nice little RS logo right there, pretty dope. Door open and close sound from the outside. And from the inside. Pretty solid. Charging game wise, you got two USB-C ports in the front and you have a standard wireless charger. Absolutely love that. You also have two USB-C ports for the rear passengers. And let's take a quick listen to the indicator and horn sound of the 2021 Audi RS6 Avant indicator first. 
Not bad. And now for the horn test. Pretty solid. And now that I've given you a tour of the 2021 Audi RS6 Avant, let me give you my opinion on what I think about it. All right, let's get to it. You know, I think automotive enthusiasts just love wagons for the sake of loving wagons, but there is a very logical reason to admire wagons. They offer you the same utility as an SUV without the higher ride height. So if you don't like a high riding vehicle, but love utility, wagons are a great option. Not to mention wagons like the RS6 Avant that I'm driving here look freaking awesome. So let's talk about how the Audi RS6 Avant drives and how it compares to the Mercedes AMG E63 S wagon. The 591 horsepower twin turbo V8 is a brilliant engine. Power is available at any speed and in any drive mode. In comfort mode, the RS6 Avant is insanely smooth and very, very comfortable. You can really use this as your daily driver without all the theatrics because the exhaust sound in comfort mode is virtually non-existent. So it makes it feel like you're just driving a regular luxury wagon. Pop it into dynamic mode or any one of your preset RS mode buttons and this thing comes alive. Acceleration is mind-blowingly fast. The exhaust sounds amazing and it just feels brilliant. I absolutely love this thing. Now I've driven the Mercedes AMG E63 S wagon and that's also really fun to drive. But which one would I buy? I would definitely buy the Audi RS6 Avant. Why? Because this thing looks just so much better than the E63 S wagon. And also because it's very rare and no one will see you coming or expect you to go from zero to 60 in just 3.5 seconds or just take off the line like this and hit 100 miles an hour within a blink of an eye. Oh, and if you're somebody who's thinking, hey, I still love SUVs no matter what, and I could just buy the RS Q8. Let me put things into perspective for you. The RS6 Avant is 0.2 seconds quicker than the RS Q8, and it's $5,500 cheaper, and you're just one of the rare cars on the road. So for me, I would definitely pick the RS6 Avant over the RS Q8 as well. Either way, thanks for watching. Make sure you hit subscribe. Make sure you hit like. Make sure you share my content with your friends that also enjoy cars. You can follow me on Instagram and on TikTok. My handle is at Omar Drives. I'll catch you on the next one. Take care. Peace. Now, I just wish that I had $109,000 to get one so I could do this every day. <laughs>